Hollow Cocoon. First and foremost, if you are a type to play through the game without exploring or reading any of the documents, you find around and then say that the story made no sense. Do not play this game. It heavily relies on those documents to not only tell the story but to all slew you in some item locations that you need. I am big on horror and it's not often I find a horror game that I like but it is also rare to find a horror game with a good story. However, I would say that the part of what made this a good experience was the fact that I was in change with the story the entire time. Reading every note and journal I came across. Pieces of the story start coming together and give you jaw dropping realization. Most horror games feel more like a bad dream but this feels more like a nightmare with a plot. Something that doesn't wake you up but rather see it through till the sun has risen and that is what I call horror. Something I did not like about the story in one of the endings. All in all, I loved the story and I really hope New York Studio published more. They have a good sense of what a horror game should feel like. Breakdown Horror 8 of 10. The atmosphere, good graphics, smooth FPS, and audio really work well together to create something extraordinary, but there comes a point that you stop being scared of the AI and are just looking for items. If you are playing timidly, you probably won't notice this challenge until your second playthrough. This is not such much a bad thing because most people will only play once of the game is pretty short. If you find yourself engaging with the enemy a lot, you might start to find it less scary and more of an annoyance. I said that become once you get to. Gameplay and puzzles 7 of 10. Gameplay feels pretty good and in the game, but it's nothing super crazy. There is a lot of walking running, but that can be cut short if you are good read the letters and journals around the map that clue you in one where to go next. Most of the walking time is spent awaiting the enemy, otherwise you could probably blast through the game. Getting caught by the enemy is only an instant game over on Nightmare Mode. There are almost multiple endings and hidden secrets to discover throughout the game that are definitely worth finding. Some require a second playthrough. The puzzles aren't really puzzles, but more so scavenger hunt. From memory, I can only recall there being three actual puzzles to solve and the rest of the items is hidden and needs to be bought here to get this item. Visuals, performance and bugs, 9 of 10. Graphics looks great, models look great, textures look great and with all of that the game ruins like a charm, chef's kiss. I'm sure someone more picky and find a probably with how something looks but for an indie game this is absolutely stunning. Some animations are not the highest tier out there, but the ones that matter are done well. There is an unlocked FPS option, but I lock it at 120 and have no frame dips. I have not run into a single bot except for one where the enemy's hand hair will clip through the wall every once in a while. Nothing game impression breaking. 